Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am Marty Mangle and I am here to bring you some exciting news for My Little Pony Season 7. As you can see, my Rainbow Dash is over there. I I put that there for a reason. And that, and that is a piggy bank, by the way. <laughs> but she, okay, forget about it. So, some things I am expecting from this season are going to be the names of Rainbow Dash's parents and the names of Applejack's parents. Like some of the spoilers that we have seen. But, you know, the only spoilers that we don't have is what their actual names are. Except for Rainbow Dash's mom. But we don't have... Wait, no, Rainbow Dash's dad, sorry. We don't have Rainbow Dash's mom yet. We don't know what she looks like. And we've just been making stories up forever. And we are also going to be seeing some kind of Romeo and Juliet stuff. That's another thing to expect here. But some wish lists that I want literally like 20 minutes before the show airs on the Scuffy Family. Here's some things that I'm expecting. I'm expecting to see, based on the preview of the premiere, I'm expecting to see Star Sword of Bearded. There is a reason behind this. Because when you see the preview, you will see a circle being drawn with a star on it. And then Star Eye Glimmer and Sunburst create some kind of magic and they get sucked in. Almost looks like they would have been through another some kind of dimension. So it kind of looks like it was some kind of ritual. And only Star Sword the Bearder would do something like that. Another thing that I want to be in this upcoming season is to see one character that never had a voice. And I want to see uh, Rainbow Dash's dad's voice, and I want to see uh, Vinyl Scratch's voice. Or should we really call her DJ Pwn3 because that is of her official name, technically? Even though Hasbro made a vinyl figure of her that says Vinyl Scratch on it. But apparently her official name is going to be DJ Pwn3. Judging by what is said in Season 6. So anyway, the kind of theory that I'm going to go with here. Is that this season is going to be based around Star Sword Bearded and Sunburst. Finding different artifacts from the past. Uh... Of what Star Sword of Bearded had. Now, if we go back to season five, that stick that she found, uh, she could apparently manipulate magic to actually use it to take Kitty Marks away. But she also said it was a stick found on the ground. But if you look at it, and I don't have a picture to show you, but if you really look at it, it looks like it isn't a stick at all. It looks like it was like meant to look like that. Because it looks kind of like a pitchfork without the middle spike in the middle. And if you go look at a picture of that right now, you'll see what I'm talking about. It almost looks like it was made for something. It doesn't really look like it could just be randomly on the ground. And also, if it was just a stick, it wouldn't look like, you know, imagine if it was half of that. It, if it was just a stick on the ground, it wouldn't look like that. So, I'm expecting Season 7 to have Star Sword of Bearded. And we don't know who Star Sword of Bearded is. They've been teasing us forever for us to figure out who this person is. Or, should I say, Pony. And one more thing on my wish list. I am hoping that there is a seventh element. Now, I do know that uh, Equestria Girls and My Little Pony are not like, you know, their own thing. But going by uh, Legend of the Everfree, there was a seventh element. There was an orange one. Because all the colors of the element were based on the ponies' colors or by their cutie mark color. You know, pink, orange, and there was also blue, which was Rainbow Dash over there. There was also purple, which was Rarity's cutie mark. It was purple diamonds. Wait, no, it was the color of her hair. Her diamonds are blue. My bad. <laughs> 
but then you have one that's orange. There was one orange one, but it was like a fiery orange. It was a much darker orange than what Applejack has. And from what the looks of it, uh, Sunset Shimmer got this one in the movie. And apparently she could grab someone's hand and get the feelings out of someone, you know, else's mind. So I'm expecting to see some kind of seventh element that uh, we never covered, and neither of the, neither of anyone in the show is going to know it, and no one's going to know what is the purpose of it. But I can tell you right now, it is going to be the real magic of friendship. Because if you really think about it, the magic of friendship is all six elements all combined together. So what if this element is all six of them combined, but more powerful? But the elements of harmony may not be the power of friendship at all. It may be its own element. Because it's called the elements of harmony. What if this is an element of friendship? Now, before I blab on too much longer, before the show starts, because it's literally about to start in 10 minutes, I really want you guys to get started and watch the show for yourself. So, without further ado, if you like the video, comment down below and tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys are wanting to see in the show. And smash that like button down below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming up with new gaming videos soon, but uh, games on here are kind of laggy, and I don't want to post any kind of games like that. So, this is Artie Mangle, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.